Lately, the intrigue around what awaits us with the Marketplace launch has become increasingly strong. Soon, we will launch such various system elements such as tactile goods, royalty programs, game app, which everyone has heard about before, but wants to know what stands behind it and many other products. Which target audience will benefit from it and find particular interest in it? Metaforce is designed in such a way that it will attract very different target audiences. Buyers can come to us for a certain good, customers can reach us for a particular type of product, including digital ones. Active participants can come to create a business. Passive participants often are looking for financial opportunities and players can come to find here games and other entertainment. There will be different target audiences here. Of course, there may be some combinations of audiences when users are interested in two or more areas of metaphors at once. Metaphors as a whole is structured uniquely, of course. This becomes obvious after some time, but immersed in studying the system, everyone will see how numerous subtleties are calculated here and how powerful the basis thought out to the smallest detail for long-term business is behind this entire system. By the way, this is a moment that worries some participants the most. Isn't everything here to complicate it? We make all our products as user-friendly as possible to make everything clear. Our system is complex, first of all, for those who create it. Like those, for example, who develop the architecture and think through all the details, as well as those who are just starting to start the system with this goal in mind. Most people, in fact, never research projects to the end. If the goal is to use something specific, then no difficulties will arise. An example is Bitcoin. Most of those who use Bitcoin have never read its white paper and do not even know about its existence or know but can hardly imagine it. And this does not bother them in any way. At the same time, each user can study this data at any time. Everything happens in the same way with us, as we try to explain the information as best as possible. But we also do everything so that those who have not studied anything will be able to use the system and get involved in the topic. Each person has the opportunity to learn metaphors in stages or element by element. Studying becomes exciting when you discover how much is behind the system and how huge the possibilities that open up, of which there are many more than it might seem at first glance. Fine, let's talk about how the entire system that goes through the marketplace works. Cashback tokens, loyalty programs, tactile goods. How does it all work? For a buyer who is interested only in a product, everything is easy. He just comes and buy. With Forcecoin entering the market, it will become our main currency. But at the same time, we will create swap, with the help of which a person will be able to use the currency that he has. Of course, first, a user will be offered an exchange for force coin, and then he will be able to purchase it. If a person does not want to exchange the cryptocurrency, which stops many potential buyers, then we will allow him to use any available cryptocurrency and will not slow him down by the need to exchange other tokens for force coin. The only thing worth mentioning is that Forcecoin is more profitable in terms of commission because it is less expensive to independently exchange cryptocurrency for Forcecoin. However, if the user does not do this, we will provide such a service and take a small commission for it. There are two types of commissions. A commission for an instant exchange for Forcecoin at the current uh, rate and a small commission for the purchase of force coin, which will be immediately burned. Thus, we create a situation where the person using force coin strengthen it 
and the person using another cryptocurrency also strengthens Forcecoin, burning it with his funds and increasing the scarcity. If a person wants to use opportunities that bring him benefits, then he can attract others. Those who were invited will end up in his referral structure. If you are already taking part in some Metaforce affiliate programs, then in fact you either have people in your referral structure or new users will appear. One way or another, it doesn't matter whether a person comes to buy or connect to a program Tactile Goods, Uniteverse and others. Because if he comes to the system through your referral link or the link of your partners, he ends up in your structure. And then the following happens. As soon as a person attracted by you purchases any product, the amount he paid immediately goes to cashback tokens which are extremely generous and can range up to 50% of the payment. The amount of cashback tokens you can receive depends on your level in the main affiliate program, now called GameUp, formerly Matrix. This is a very generous affiliate program with a huge distribution. There are 12 levels in the tactile program and the higher the level, the higher the cashback. If you have the maximum cashback, then you will additionally have a referral program that applies exclusively to the highest levels. What is it for? The fact is that you can earn not only those cashback tokens that you receive by yourself, but also those tokens that come to your structure. For example, you brought John, who has 10% cashback, and you have 30%. In this case, you receive 20% cashback. All cashback tokens from your structure minus what the invitees receive. The higher the cashback, the higher your chance of getting it from the structure. Wow, this is exciting! Thank you for your answers and hopefully in 2024 there will be even more interesting opportunities. We are with you! Force!